a system. In this video, we will learn to find irrational numbers between rational numbers. The digits after the decimal of irrational numbers are infinite and unlimited. So it is difficult to represent them on the number line. But we can definitely tell between which two numbers it is located. So let's take an example and see how to find irrational numbers between two rational numbers. Suppose we have to find an irrational number between 2 and 3. After the number 2, if we keep writing digits after the decimal point without repeating the digits, then the number thus created will be an irrational number which is greater than 2 and smaller than 3. Or let's say a number between 2 and 3. Can you write a few more numbers like that? You can pause the video and try to write similar numbers. This is the easiest thing. These are some examples that you can see. Or you can write by changing the digits in the first number. The interval between 2 and 3 is very large. We can do this with even smaller intervals. For example, find an irrational number between 2.7 and 2.8. Here we can write any number after 2.7 that is neither repeated nor ends. Let us take another example. Find two irrational numbers between rational numbers 5 by 11 and 6 by 11. How will you answer this question? Here, first we will find the decimal forms of these rational numbers and then, keeping them in mind, we will write two irrational numbers. The decimal form of 5 by 11 is 0.4545545 and the decimal form of 6 by 11 is 0.545454 etc. You can obtain these by the division method. Now we have to write two irrational numbers that are greater than 0.45454545 and smaller than 0.545454. Can that decimal number be 0.4801032001 etc. Yes. Find the second number yourself. With this, we will end this video. In this session, we learned to find irrational numbers between rational numbers. See you in the next video. Thank you. In the previous video, we learned to find irrational numbers between two rational numbers. In this video, we will solve some more questions related to this topic. So let's take the first question. Find one irrational number between the rational numbers 1 by 4, 2 by 4 and 3 by 4. What to do first? We will first find their decimal forms by the division method. By solving 1 by 4 by the division method, we get 0.25. Would you solve 2 by 4 and 3 by 4 also by the division method? You can do that too. But 2 by 4 and 3 by 4 can also be written in the form 2, 1 by 4 and 3, 1 by 4. That is, by multiplying the decimal form of 1 by 4, which is 0.25, 1's by 2 and 1's by 3, we can obtain the decimal form of both, which will be 0 0.50 and 0.75. Now we have to find one irrational number between 0.25 and 0.50 and one between 0.50 and 0.75. This is quite easy. There is a big difference between the two numbers. You can write irrational numbers starting from 0.3 or 0.6. In this manner. Now let's take the next question. Find two irrational numbers between 11 by 13 and 12 by 13. How will you answer this question? Here, first we will write the decimal forms of these rational numbers and then we will write two irrational numbers accordingly. The decimal form of 11 by 13 is 0.846153, 846158. And the decimal form of 12 by 13 is 
What shall we do now? Can we take any number after point 8? No. We have to take another number after point 8 which is greater than 4. So after point 8, we can either write 5 or a number greater than that to find a rational number because the next number is much greater than this. So suppose we take an irrational number, point 8523014215. And let's take the second number, point 9143112054125, etc. This number is smaller than point 92. That is, it is located between these numbers. Now let's take an interval that is very short or small interval. And the last question of this session. Find an irrational number between these two rational numbers. Point 32845 Friends, we can pause the video to answer this question. Here we have to note that both these numbers are same up to 5 decimal places. So, here we have to keep the irrational number up to 5 decimal places. That is, 0.32845 And since in the next number, 9 is present after the 5 common numbers, we can write any number from 0 to 8 and then add numbers which are non-terminating and non-repeating. Suppose we had written 9, then the obtained number would have been greater than our next numbers and will not lie between the two given numbers. With this, we will end this video. In this session, we solved some questions related to finding irrational numbers between rational numbers. See you in the next video. In the previous video, we learned to find irrational numbers between two rational numbers. Today, we will discuss some more facts related to the same. Let's start. From the given decimal numbers, which irrational number lies between the rational numbers 2.21 and 2.23. The answer is very easy. You can think about the answer by pausing the video. The first option lies between these two numbers, but it is not irrational. It is a rational number. The second option is an irrational number, and it seems that it is between these two numbers if we just look to the right of the decimal. And if we shift our focus to the left of the decimal, then there is 1, which means it is not located between the two numbers. And now the remaining option is C, which is an irrational number and lies between these two rational numbers. So friends, understand the questions thoroughly before answering and by choosing the answer, pay full attention to each option. With this, we end this video. In this session, we discuss some more facts related to finding irrational numbers between rational numbers. See you in the next video.